Here we go. We are on the Ashby Canal heading north. And a couple of nights ago, we moored at Bridge 25. Little did we know. <laughs> Bridge 25 is uh, at Bridge 25. <laughs> <laughs> Bridge 25, it just happens to be right between the Bosworth Battlefield and Crown Hill and what's the church? St. Margaret's, uh, Margaret's of Antioch uh, Cathedral. It's it, a church though, it's not a cathedral. Okay, St. Yeah. Margaret's Church. I, we should start again. I don't like all of this. Thing. And that's, we're getting there slowly. I like to start again. One more time. And then we'll just go through it like magic. That was actually quite good. Was it? Okay, yeah. well, we'll do it again. And the giggle? Well, you, well, you, did. <laughs> <laughs> you open this one. We're on the Ashby Canal, the fabulous, wonderful Ashby Canal, very steeped in history. And we find ourselves at bridge number 26 on the maps. So we're at bridge 26, only to find out that we are between the Battle of Bodsworth, Bosworth Battlefield in front of us, and Crown Hill and St. Margaret's of Antioch's church behind us. The significance is that the Battle of Bosworth was where Richard III lost his life and lost his crown, and Henry Tudor became Henry VII, King of England, with Richard's crown on his head here, immediately behind us. It's at the church. Oh yeah, um, St. Margaret's of Antioch. It's the church there in the background. And uh, this was where um, Henry Tudor's camp was. His camp was here. Uh, Richard III's camp was uh, uh, elsewhere. And so um, before the battle started, uh, uh, Henry and his soldiers prayed in that church um, prayed to win the battle and you'll see on the uh, uh, windowsill which is uh, stone like this you'll see uh, on the windowsill where his soldiers were using the rock yeah. to sharpen their uh, uh, halyards and sharpen their swords before the battle and uh, that church is also known because Henry the, the seventh it is said gave thanks at that church. So it's a pretty wonderful piece of history and it goes back to the 1200s. So it's a wonderful church to visit and we did. Um, so <laughs> we got sucked into this story. We had no idea. No idea. We just stumbled into it. Um, uh, we got sucked into the story and ended up taking a, a taxi all the way into Leicester to go see uh, Henry the, I mean Richard the Third's tomb, which is incredibly gorgeous, very kingly. Uh, so we went to see his tomb and his burial site. Right where he was, out, uh, he was exhumed. Um, a wonderful uh, consortium of people got together, archaeologists and historians, and they decided that's the spot in which we will find the bones of Richard III. And indeed they did. The first day Richard was uncovered, the first day. Can you imagine the excitement? We felt that excitement when we went to, to the spot and, and read and heard about the history. I incredible, an impossible situation, but it worked. Uh, Richard was killed here. Uh, at uh, Richard the Third, a little respect here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Richard was killed here in the field, and, uh, and so they stripped his uh, body of all its armor, and they stripped him naked, and uh, and then uh, tied him his, over a horse. Yeah, flung his body, his naked body, over a horse. Like a like blanket a or a wet pig. blanket, yeah. Like a like an animal carcass. 
and then they took him all the way to Leicester for display to show that the king really was dead. Yeah. So he, there would be no doubt. And then after a couple of days, the soldiers asked if they could bury uh, Richard in uh, Greyfriars Church. And uh, the priest said, yeah, they could bury him here. <laughs> they dug a hasty, hastily dug grave. It's only two feet deep from the floor tiles. Of the old priory, the, the Greyfriars yeah, Priory. Of the, to the bottom of the grave, it's like two feet. And it was too short, so his head was all kinked out of place. And, and they, they buried him with no shroud, no burial shroud, no coffin. They just threw him in a hole and covered him up and left. And that's what they discovered when they dug up the car park was. The car park was the parking lot um, of the council, general council area of Leicester. A lot of council buildings and that's where they would park. And here it is, 500 years later, the body was exhumed and uh, put in a noble, noble tomb oh, yeah. in the cathedral at Leicester. Uh, and you know, finally, that poor man, he was 32 when he died. He was king for two years before he died. And he was buried for 500 years in a tomb that didn't even, a grave site that didn't even fit his body. He, it, his head was conked off and he lost his feet in the deal. <laughs> Thanks for watching our uh, videos. Please subscribe and click on the bell. See you later, bye. And another one. Art bombing the canal bridges with Helen's faces, her girls, it's here for the taking. It's only held up there with command strips. Take it down and take it home. Enjoy it. And there's the artist.